been hearing. Um, tougher sanctions could be on the cards for Russia following the uh, airliner crash on the Ukraine-Russia border. Adam's here with more. Talking oligarchs? Yeah, well, there's already so, uh, a lot of sanctions against those close to Putin. Could well be more against those. David Cameron wants more robust action. He wants what would be called tier three sanctions. These are the ones that would really hit the entirety of the Russian economy. Uh, what that probably means is European Union nations getting together. And that still looks quite a big ask. Lots of vest interest about energy, uh, about manufacturing deals. But what effect have they already had on British business? What would happen if the screws were tightened a bit more? Michael Ross is the director of CNM Estates, property company in London, also the founder of a company called Fine Art Sales. Um, Michael, you organised a regatta in Russia to promote trade. What happened then? Uh, good morning, yes. Um, well, this this is uh, something that started in London last year at the London Boat Show, um, which led to a great deal of interest from people internationally. Um, and, and one of those parties was uh, a Moscow-based businessman who had interest in both Moscow, Russia, and in the UK. Um, clearly putting on a large sporting event um, costs a great deal of money. Um, and there's, as you would expect, around major sporting events, there is sponsorship opportunities and packages that go with that, um, which underpin the finances of putting on the event. Um, so we got quite a long way down the road with discussions about this, and we had Moscow Photography Museum uh, provisionally hosting the sort of the after event dinners, etc. Um, but as it came to earlier this year, unfortunately, you know, political unrest and uncertainty leads to business decisions being deferred and it's far easier to say no than to say yes when there's uncertainty. So at the moment, that event isn't happening. And and you are trying to promote y your business and doing more business with Russia. How has that been affected? I mean, is it effectively dead in the water at the moment, that, that relationship? Um, I've still got some dialogue um, and I think in the fullness of time, most things like this become resolved. Um, but clearly as a business, you can't just sit twiddling your thumbs. So you have to move on and you have to look at other directions. So that's exactly what's happening in the short term. Um, the event's going to be at Cow's Week in the Solent next month. Um, so, you know, it's you have to rely on certainty for, for those business decisions. As, as, as a businessman, though, do you have you know, sympathy, understanding with the fact that there are, there are big geopolitical things going on here and that sanctions do look like they're, they are the main tool to put pressure on President Putin? Um, very, very broad question. Um, I do believe that the news that we see is flavoured um, and I don't think that we generally get the whole story. Um, by chance, I was in Ukraine in February this year um, at the time that everything flared up in Kiev. Um, I watched a lot of news whilst I was in Ukraine um, and I listened to the commentary that went with that news and it was very clear as to who was doing what. Um, I then came back to London and I was watching the news here because I had a great interest in following the news continue. Um, and I was seeing absolutely the same video footage on the news here, but with a diametrically opposed commentary uh, as to who was doing what and who was supporting which side of the politics so that led me very much to feel that what i was seeing here and what i was seeing there were not actually the real story michael russ thanks for your time this morning there from cnm estates